Hi guys, I know it's been quite a while since I've done a reading. Um, I've just been trying to preserve my energy. I've had a lot of symptoms and with my illness and I just, you know, I've been doing a lot of my other readings on the other platforms. So please go ahead and check out my TikTok and my Instagram, but these are longer readings. So um, I'm going to be doing some readings where I talk about like, the person that your your future person okay now if you want to see this as your twin flame but this is going to be more so the person that like you're going you're heading towards union with it could be someone you haven't even met yet okay so this is like your future love kind of like their energy but this is also obviously for people on the spiritual journey just where you're at as well so i'm going to be doing a lot of readings like that because some of us feel like maybe we haven't even met the person that we think we're going to be with yet okay so i'm going to kind of be leaving it a little more open this is the dark mansion tarot okay so let's see your current energies right now thank you guys for still being here and then we're going to see your person's energy okay so what is your energy right now okay we have temperance okay you guys maybe just be trying to work on yourselves, balancing yourselves. This is Sagittarius energy, healing yourselves. Two of Pentacles, a lot of balancing energy is going on here. You might have a lot of things going on in your life that you're trying to juggle. You might be really wanting to be almost like left alone or have your independence, really trying to be sufficient on your own in balancing energies. And then Queen of Swords. Yeah, I feel like if you're a feminine watching, you just don't want to talk right now. You don't want to communicate. You don't feel the need to explain yourself. You don't want to give any energy other than to yourself, which is amazing here. I feel like you're really honoring yourself. You're honoring your boundaries. Although Queen of Swords upright would be that. I feel Queen of Swords reverse is like you don't even feel like explaining where you're at. You just kind of want to be where you're at and have nobody like interfering with your energy here. Okay, so let's see what your person's energy is. This is going to be a different deck. This is the Kane's Arcane from Taylor Bryn Art. She makes amazing decks. This is her dog deck. So the person that you're going to maybe be meeting or ending up with or your counterpart, whether you've met them or not, let's see where they're at. So you guys, I feel like, are really working on yourselves. You might be really busy with tasks and like menial things throughout the day you're just you're not in the mood to talk okay there's a hermit energy here so let's see where their energy is at and we have gemini libra aquarius sagittarius they're waiting okay so their time might right now they might not have the time for a relationship or they may be also working on themselves they're waiting for something though it's almost like their soul knows you're coming and they're waiting in a weird way whether it's conscious or unconscious they're waiting for your arrival they're almost like giving you the time and space to work on yourself i love this they know that like they know what they want okay they know that you're what they want they have an idea in their mind of what it is they want and they're passionate about, just because they haven't come forward yet in your world it doesn't mean that they're not sure it's just more so a respectful thing this could literally just be their higher self though guys okay then we have seven of cups reversed they're not indecisive this person they know what they want that's what i'm saying they're not like deciding about anything um they may still kind of be almost like naive to something or not seeing something they may still have some of their own growth to do that they're not even aware of there's something maybe that they're trying to get in touch with their intuition about so what i feel is like almost like spiritually you might be a little more involved than them but they're kind of more of like a naive spirit this person that you're gonna be um connecting with in the future here okay so let's get an overall theme about your connecting energy between you. Like, why haven't you met this person yet? Like I said, I feel like they have some growth to do. You still have some boundaries that you need to set or self-love that you need to 
do here, okay? So what's the overall energy between you and your person? Your future person? Or the person that you're supposed to be with? The Emperor Reverse, you see? I'm going to see if all these are reversals. That's Aries energy. Scorpio. Okay, so you guys both could have had some really painful endings recently that you're both trying to process. You both don't feel like you would be able to step up and be the kind of counterpart the other would need. There's still a sense of powerlessness in both of you. So I feel both parties are still undergoing a major transformation here. Okay, so this is a very pivotal time for you and your person. Okay, we've got Scorpio, we've got Aries, we've got Gemini and Virgo, but that doesn't mean that if you're not one of those, that's not your reading, okay? So we did have um, Ari, um, Gemini and Gemini come up twice so far. All right, we're going to get into the animal oracle. We're going to see your overall energy and their overall energy, okay? So what energy are you in right now? Polar bear, mystic. I love this. You guys, you know, I feel the feminine or the person watching you guys are much more aware of the spiritual journey you're on. Know that challenges make you stronger. Have faith when you face adversity. Take time to rest, dream, and renew your strength. Embrace your psychic abilities. You carry the shaman within. I feel when you guys do meet, you are going to be the one. First off, they're going to see you as very mystical. They're going to see you as very interesting. They're going to kind of be inspired by this mystique that you have. Um, you are going to be like the spiritual light in their life. But I also feel that... Um, you're a little more evolved than them in that way. But interesting that we have a polar bear, which is kind of like ice and queen of swords. So there could be something that needs to melt within your heart. You could have built a barrier around your heart and that could be keeping them away as well. So um, the feminine is discovering, it's like that Rumi quote, our task is not to find love, but to seek um, all the barriers within us that we built against it, Okay. All right, and now we've got, for them, ooh, this is them observing. I'm telling you guys, they're in a very observant energy. That's how I see the owl. Magic, choose to know the truth because you can open your inner vision. You can see through deception. Let the past go and make room for a better life. Rise up. You see, I feel like they're really working on releasing something. I just heard mom wounds, okay? So your future person could be dealing with even a death of a mother in the physical that led them to have to heal some of their mother wounds is what I'm getting, okay? Um, being called to use the spellcaster oracle. So let's see some more energies that will happen when you guys get together, okay? This three of wands and the owl is like they're very quiet. They're very observant. They're not making any moves, even though the ace of wands is a very passionate energy. I feel like they're kind of holding their passions within and they're just waiting for the right time till their soul knows that you're ready to have a balanced relationship. So this is like you guys are working on a way to be so balanced within yourself that when you guys come together, you're not going to lose that balance like you have in the past with other people. Okay. Oh, you see, this is the second time, guys. We've got passion and we have the Ace of Wands, I'm telling you. So there's definitely going to be a lot of passion here, but I feel a lot of times the feminine, this becomes so all-consuming for them that they can't they can't sustain that relationship. So this is about finessing your passion and realizing like, it's almost like when you meditate and then you hold your breath and you don't let it all out at once. It's like learning to harness that energy, that Kundalini energy within you. And both parties I feel are actually doing that simultaneously. I love it. Okay. Hmm. I just had a card in there from another deck that I thought maybe I should talk about it, but talk about it, talk about it, talk about it. Ooh, baby. Talent, okay? This is also about you guys learning to finesse your own talent and happiness and really come into your own, come transform like this butterfly, okay? So um, 
This is about you guys awakening your own happiness within before you can come together. The universe is not going to bring you together until you've realized that your sense of self doesn't start with them. It starts with you. And once you get into that energy and you step into that energy, it'll be like a moth to a flame and you're going to attract that person. All right, guys. So I hope this reading resonated with you. Let me know if you like this new kind of format. I love it personally. It resonates with me. So... Um, but I'm here for you guys, obviously, so let me know. Thank you guys for sticking with me, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.